I'm going to start off by saying I look around the room and I see a number of people that I work with on a daily basis that helps move us forward. Our tax receiver, Lou Marcosha, county legislator, Tom Muratori, um, Neil Foley, our councilman, who does a great job. And where's Kevin Laval? I didn't. <laughs> okay. And so these guys work with me, members of the town board and town government to deliver. Been supervisor seven years. I came, I was elected for the first time in 2012 uh, in a special election at that time. Our previous supervisor, Supervisor Lesko, resigned in the middle of his term. Um, I came in. The town was still suffering from the recession of 2008. There were a number of financial problems. Um, and I believe that all issues of government are issues of money. I focused on writing the finances of the town. Well, a few years ago, we received from Standard was a AAA bond rating. We also received the AAA bond rating from Moody's. Those are the people that exhaustively examine everything, including debt and a whole host of other things, and have determined how strong Brookhaven is. <laughs> I supervised in the seven budgets I presented. Everyone has met the tax cap the spending cap and the debt cap we have in Brookhaven Town. When I became supervisor, despite the difficult financial situation, there's one cardinal rule in finance. You don't go into debt for an operating expense. And the town had, as at every other municipality during the recession, they borrowed to pay their pension costs. It's the first thing I focused in on. We were the first town on Long Island to pay off all of our pension debt. All of it. Very few municipalities, certainly not Suffolk County, which has been downgraded to jump bond status, has done that. So I have focused on our finances and focused on our tax burden to make sure it would not increase. So we have always complied with the 2% tax cap. Some of the other things that I focused in on is saving some of our open spaces. Supervisor Lesko worked hard, but was not able to save the Commons River. <coughs> Within six months of taking office, we preserved all the land around the Commons River, about 1,000 acres. Um, and since that time, we preserved another 1,000 acres. And as a member of the Pine Barrens Commission, we preserved 1,100 acres in the Sherman Gymnastic area. Why? Because I fear overdevelopment I fear traffic and congestion, and I believe purchasing open space is the best way to go. Before I came as supervisor, I was a legislator for Eastern Brookhaven, Riverhead, South Oak, and Shelter Island. In that job, for seven years, I bought more open space than the other 17 districts combined. Thank you, Tom, for being one of those folks. Um, and that's why the North Fork is preserved looking to do the same as supervisor. And prior to that, I served 16 years as county clerk, and prior to that, I was in the legislature in the 80s. So I have a long history of working. I look at Brookhaven. I'm concerned about our future and the direction we're going. I want to make sure that our tax burden is manageable. I want to make sure that the costs that we bear are manageable, which is one reason, as supervisor, I am moving in the direction, with the rest of the town board, all of us, Democrats and Republicans on the town board, to vote unanimously to set up a community choice aggregation, a CCA, which is a way to purchase cheap power to help lower the bills, not of some, not of this group or that group, everyone, including small businesses here in Brookhaven Town. We have a lot of expenses. If this town government can help you lower those expenses, we are going to do that. We're also going to protect our environment. I drafted the law that said if you live within 500 feet of any body of water, including like Rock Island, and you're going to build a new house, you've got to put in an alternative wastewater management system. Critical. And that should be expanded. Um, obviously, in certain areas, I support sewers as a way 
protecting our groundwater. I am concerned about our sewer policy in Suffolk County. But because I'm not a legislator, I'm not going to dwell on that. But I'm concerned because a lot of our sewers empty into the ocean or our bays or harbors. All that's doing is draining our aquifer. Some people have talked about the problems with water quality. I'm concerned also with water quantity. And that is a problem that we're going to face. So I probably spoke for five minutes. And I don't want to monopolize. There's a lot of candidates here. Um, so if I can take two questions, if you want to recognize them. Yeah. No, I have any questions? Page two, what's going on with that arena that we're talking about? The I arena on the ISIP side. <laughs> uh, I'm not in favor of that at this time. I think that that would bring too much development to Ronkonkoma, too much traffic. Uh, I am not in favor of that. Uh, someone raised the question that I was on the Suffolk County Planning Commission, uh, excuse me, the Long Island Regional Planning Board. I was. I was appointed by County Executive for long. Um, and I resigned because he never told me about that. I had to read it in the paper. So I said, why am I serving for five years on a planning commission for Long Island and the county executive doesn't share these plans and announces it in Newsday? That's not the way you do good government. Yes? Hi, um, I live over on Lakeside Drive, so I've been very, very vocal with a lot of the people who are in this room about the Top Golf project. Um, I know you're talking a lot about tax caps and worrying about taxes. I've been a taxpayer in this district for, se uh, actually, my entire adult life I've paid taxes to Suffolk County, specifically my home taxes for 17 years, and I feel really failed by a lot of people um, who are running for government right now in this room because you guys voted and you abstained on a vote yes, for, ta for the Top Golf project that is going to affect the quality of life for my family, my home specifically, and I'd like you to address why you think it's okay to put uh, an I didn't vote yes, so. No, you, you abstained. I, it took me three phone calls to your office to even get that answer. I requested to meet with you personally four times, was never given an opportunity to meet with you, even though you're my elected official, my town supervisor, and I don't understand why you, we don't have access to meet with you. Um, when I did require, when I did call over four times to ask for that meeting, and it took me four times, three times to get a call back and to even get why you did abstain that vote. I don't understand why your top golf is being built when you're talking about keeping open space. I can only space. answer one question. Mm -hmm. So what's the question? You My answer is why bring that type of a complex and not worry about the taxpayers who are actually purchasing, you know, being the ones who are paying, worrying about the quality of life of the families in that neighborhood bringing, now they're going to put a road in my neighborhood, I have kids who ride bikes. Again, I can only answer one question. You'd... Well, pick a question. There's okay. a thousand of them in yeah, there. Yeah, I, I, I understand that, but I would like to answer. So your lack of accessibility to the constituents, the fact that now I have a road coming into our neighborhood with people who want to be drinking during the day and night, the fact that you abstain from a vote. It sounds like you're giving a speech and not asking a question. I'm asking you a lot of questions about you being you my get to answer one. Okay, lack of accessibility to your constituents. I'm accessible. I answer all my emails. If you had emailed me, and I'll I be happy to your office you. what? times. If you had emailed me, you would have got a response because I handle all my emails. So call Who also handled by other people, but email me in the future if you have a question. So email. So every constituent should email you, not call your office and speak to the people. Okay. It's much better because. Excuse me? Someone said something? Well, requesting an e a, a meeting with my with my yeah. supervisor, so I should be able to the call. The next time you want to do that, send me an email. So don't call. Okay. Yeah, no, that's mm -hmm. because I read all my emails. I don't answer the phone. That's we have people do that. Okay. Obviously, they didn't get through to me on this one. But the, I'm inviting you to send me an email. I'll, I'll be that happy that. to do we'll that. Sit down and talk about but it. obviously, people on the town board heard the facts. I heard the people. I think they had a case. I think Top Golf is a good project. I just think that was, from my perspective, the wrong location. Other mm -hmm. board members disagreed. I think the rest of the board voted for it. They if did. I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. uh, Democrat and Republican. Yeah, no, yep. I'm like, oh, absolutely. Is the absolutely. I, I don't know if you try to call any of the oh, other members. Oh, absolutely. A lot of us. Now have people to have to cut it off with it. You think you're Thank you yeah, very much. Right. Thank you. So we're running a really tight schedule, otherwise, I would.
I'm sorry I have to leave one of my dear friends, uh, Jane and Shira, who was an associate dean in Suffolk, died and she's being awake tonight oh, so, Rachel, so I am going. She's a fabulous person, a tremendous county employee for the community college as associate dean and someone I've known for 20 years. So I'm going to make her wake tonight, but I thank you for listening. Um, and uh, I'm sure the candidates will try to answer the questions to the best of their ability. Thank you again.